wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'll be showing you how to create this farmyard barn. This red storybook style barn has lots of charm and plenty of space, so it is both a great build for creative or could be used as a survival base. Let's get creating. The materials you'll need for this build are on your screen now. Here is the outline for today's build. You can see that the main part of the barn is 15 by 17 blocks and then there is a section off to the left at the back. You can put in an outline like this as we'll be building right over the top of it. We're going to begin our build using some quartz pillars and we're going to be building up six high, one, two, three, four, five, six, on the four main corners of the build. And I'll line up this fourth one by lining myself up with this block here that we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to build up five high on these two points here. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll build up six high in the center here on both sides. And again, I can do that by lining myself up with the one that's on this side. And you can check that you've got that centered by counting the blocks on either side of the pillars there. Next we're going to be taking some stone brick and we're coming around to the side of the build and just connecting up all of these pillars that we've added in with a one high layer. When I come to the front I'm not going to connect across this section here. I will go back around the other way using some stone brick stairs right on top. Like that. Next you'll be needing some dirt, some red wool and some red concrete. We'll be using the dirt as a placeholder block to help us locate our windows. So on the side I'll place one on top of this stone brick, then come in one and build up two high. And I'll do this on the three side locations here, as well as in this section that sticks out. Like that. I'll also put in a two high window on either side of this little section. And then I'm going to come to this back wall and I'm going to count two in from either side to add in a window and then one in the very center. So these should be three blocks apart. I'll also be adding in my window locations at the front of the build here. For this I'll build up one high and then break that block there and then build up four high in total. One, two, three, four. And you can see I'm just one block in on either side so there's two blocks left of the outline. So here's where our red barn is going to start taking shape. We're going to be starting in this little alcove bit here and I'll be using a mixture of my red concrete and red wool to texturize the blocks here. I'm going to start by building up just two high around this outline. And it's up to you how much of the wool to the concrete ratio, although I like to have more concrete in here. And what we're going to be doing is switching between both the interior and exterior to make sure we're getting a good texture. Now along this longer wall of the section, I'm going to start by building up so I'm one high above the window. And I like to have both smaller sections and bigger sections of red here and don't be afraid to go in and break and replace some blocks as you go. Then for these two walls I'm going to come up an extra block on top. So that means I'll be two blocks above the height of the window. Like that. For the remaining walls I want to go up a total of seven high. So that'll be one higher than the pillars here. And I'm just going to be going all the way around the base and adding in my texture. Now this can take a little bit of time to get the texture just how you want it. So be patient and just keep going until you're happy with the finished look. And remember, every texture is going to be a little bit different. So if yours doesn't look exactly like mine, that's totally fine. It adds more character to your barn. There we go, so you can see I'm three blocks above the height of this window here. Then when I'm connecting up around the corner, I'm just going to join all the way around.
So you can see I've got a total of three and then I jump back up to join in with this wall. So once again on this side, I'm going to come up one higher like this. So I'm flush with that side and then go all the way up to my seven high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And back to texturizing like we were before. It's always good to take a step back every now and then and check if you like how it's going. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to continue around on the next side. If you're enjoying today's tutorial and would like to see more videos like this one, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. And if you'd like to support me further and get some awesome benefits, check out my Patreon in the description down below. As I'm coming back round to the front here, I'm going to just continue along this outline going around my window frame. And I'm checking by looking around the corners to see that I like the texture on both angles here. That's that side done. I might even bring one more piece of red wool down that way. And now I'll finish off this side. Here I'm being careful that my sides don't end up symmetrical. That'll give it a much more random look. There we go, we've got all the walls in now, so we can go ahead and break these dirt placeholder blocks for our windows. It also allows us to check we haven't missed any blocks on the inside like that one. Our red barn is starting to take shape. Now I've still got my red wool and red concrete, but I've also grabbed some quartz pillars and some smooth quartz stairs. I'm gonna start by counting five up, one, two, three, four, five, inside this doorway. So I'll be building an extra two blocks along across the top to form the door frame. Like that. So it should be at the same height as the windows. Now I'm going to go in with some more quartz. So I'm going to place a block on top of each of these pillars. Leaving out these two lower ones here. Then I'll connect the sides up simply like this. And then across the front, we're going to create a bit of a design. So I'll place some pillars facing forward in the two corners. Then I'm going to find the center here. And I'm going to come one block to either side with a smooth quartz stair, then leave another gap and do the same. Then I'll fill in all of the gaps here with some more quartz pillars. So it should look like that. I'll then add some more smooth quartz stairs underneath to these two corners. On the back side, I'm going to do something kind of similar, except this time I'll just add in my two quartz pillars facing forward, connect them all the way up, and then add in some stairs. So it should look like that. Also using quartz pillars, we're going to add in some supports and some definition for the top section of the barn here. So you can see at the front, I've placed two in here 
three blocks apart, so they should sit over the two sides of the door. I want these to be a total of eight high, so I'll build another seven on top of this. So I've got a pair of eight high pillars. I'm gonna add another pair at the back, and I'm building on top of the red here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. We're going to add some more pairs of pillars here. This time I'm going to rotate round to the side. I'm going to locate myself above the window and then count one to either side to put in my bases of the pillars. And these are just going to be four high. So an extra three on what I've already placed. Do the same on this side. And then towards the back again. I'm not putting one above this section that sticks out on the left. So it should look like that. Next I'll be using some more red wool and concrete to create a sweeping shape for the top of the barn. I'm going to start by adding one block on top of here and we're going to go up another three blocks on top of that for this next section. So one, two, three. And I'm going to be careful to randomize as I go. Now if you're having trouble um, of following along this pattern while randomizing. That's totally fine. You can build the whole thing out of one material and then add in your texture afterwards. So now I've got one, then three. Now I'll go up two high. And then I'm gonna go up one extra block here so you can see it meets up and it's got a nice swooping shape. And I wanna create the same shape on the other side. So one, then three. Now two, and then one. So it should look like that. Now I'll add one layer across the bottom of here. Then I'm gonna count up five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna build across the top. And I want to build up an additional two on top of this, so it's a total of three blocks high. Like that. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna be adding one more block in the center. I'm going to do the same thing on the back side now, starting with this same pattern, going up one, then three, and filling in here as I go, then a layer of two, and then finishing off with one. One, three. And I'm randomizing and changing out my textures. Two and then one. We've got that. Then I'm going to come up two high this time in the center and count up just four blocks high. One, two, three, four. And build across here. Once again, going up three and then finishing with one block in the center. Then I'm going to come inside the build and I'm going to connect up these two points along the sides with some more red. And on this side as well. And I'm just going to build all the way across here. Like that. Now I'm going to come behind each of these pillar sections and we're going to fill in the wall. I'm going to start by building up too high, leaving a two block gap in the center. Then I'll connect over the top like this and come an extra block out to either side. And then I just want to create a point by building up like that. So when I create the next one, I'm going to randomize my textures just a little bit differently to give each of the gables and the dormers a different look. And finally, this one on this side. Like that. You can see the shape of our barn is really starting to come together now. Now I'm grabbing out some smooth quartz stairs, blocks and slabs, and as well as that I've got some deep slate tile stair blocks and slabs, and we're going to start on the roof. And I'm working on this lower section roof first. I'm going to place an upside down smooth quartz stair coming out of each of these pillars. And then I want to create 
an edge going up using the smooth quartz slabs like this. So it should connect up smoothly. Then I'm going to come along the edge with some deep slate tiles. And then I'll come back underneath to lower down the edge like that. And I'll do this on both sides. Then I'm going to connect up these roofs using my deep slate tile slabs. Now I'm going to switch to some deep slate tiles here so that way it gives a cleaner look to the interior. And I'm going to do the same thing for this top section. Here's how the roof should look on this part of the build. Next we're going to create some edging along the front part of the roof. So I'm going to start with a smooth quartz block and I'm placing this right above this chisel block here. Then I'm going to go in with a smooth quartz stair upside down with two blocks on top and a stair with one block on top and then another stair leading all the way up to the center, leaving the center free and I'll do this on the other side. And I'll do this on the back of the build as well. Now I'm going to rotate round to the side and I'm going to create a white edge going up here. So I'll place in a stair and then a stair. Then I'm going to build up two blocks with a stair, one block with a stair, and then use stairs all the way up to the top here like that. I'll do this on the other side. Now here I've already got a slab in, so I'll just continue up from there. So I've got one stair, two blocks and a stair, one block and a stair, and then a whole bunch more stairs. And over to the front, we're doing the same thing. Two stairs, the blocks and stairs. So it should look like that. I then want to create the same pattern in the center of the roof, so I'll line myself up with these quartz slabs here and follow the same pattern going up. So I'm starting with one stair here, but then I've got my two blocks, a stair, and you can use a placeholder block to place in these here. Or you can place stairs underneath, which gives a nice look to the interior of the build as well. And I'm just zigzagging my way up to the top of the roof. There we go, and I can check I'm all aligned. And I'll do the same on this side, this time going with a stair, a stair, two blocks and a stair, and continuing up. Like that. I'll create some more smooth quartz stair edging on the interior of each of these dormer windows. I'm just placing in one stair here upside down on either side like that and then I'm going to build three forward with spruce logs. Underneath the two larger gables I'm going to come five out, one, two, three, four, five with the spruce logs like this and then I like to add some beaming details inside my van so I'm going to go across with a log joining up these two parts of the gable and I'm also going to join up between these smaller gables. On this side, I'll just build across to where I would if there was a dormer here. So that is about there. And then we can fix this up once we've got the rest of the roof in. And I think I'm gonna add in one more here. So if you've added some stairs underneath, you can go ahead and break one of them on either side so you can have a third beam going across. That looks lovely. Now we want to start roofing and the trick here is we're just going to be following along the outline we made with the white. I'm going to start by joining up across the bottom using my deep slate tile stairs and then I'll join up here to each of the pillars 
Now I'm going to switch to my deep slit tiles. Behind these dormers, you want to make sure you're filling in the gap. And I'm placing a stair on top. And then keep in mind here, we're going to be rotating around our stairs. So we can go ahead and do that now. So I'm building out an extra block on top. And I'll place slabs across the top. Then on either end, I'm going to extend out my deep slate tiles by two blocks like this. Once again, following the pattern. I'll come and do the other side now. Now we have to fill in these sections and for this we're going to be following the pattern again making sure we rotate around any stairs that meet up. So here I'll just place in a block to meet up with this part of the gable and then continue along. I'll need to extend my slabs one block back to meet up with these stairs here. And once we've finished this part of the roof, we'll work on the other side of the roof. The other side of the roof is very much the same, except here we won't need to worry about meeting up with the gable. You can see I've connected up this section nicely with the roof we've got here. We're going to wrap around and create my gable roof now. And go on with my slabs. And I'll just continue filling my way back. Alright, here's what we've got for our roof so far. You should see everything should meet up flushly and you've got that lovely barn shaped roof. Some finishing details to add to the roof line. I'm going to come underneath and add in a stair underneath here and underneath here on both sides. As well as up on this section and this section here. I won't be adding any underneath this pointiest section of the gable, but I will go ahead and add some stairs to the back side. Like that. I also need to add some slabs to the top, so I'll add white lining up with the stripes of white on the roof, and then some deep slit tile uh, slabs. this and now we need to get adding some details to make this barn really pop. I'm going to start by coming inside the build to add in some beams Now we need to keep in mind where our floor is here so I'm going to be placing these beams one block above the door lining them up so they're three apart here and three from the walls 
And I'm going to build these all the way across the barn. I'm then going to add a beam in the center here. And of course, if you're in survival, you want to make sure you're lighting up as you go. I'll add a few torches in now just so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'll add more decorative lights in later. I'm also going to be adding some framing around here. So for this, I'm going to build up with some logs. And I think I'm going to finish one below these beams. And I'll switch to some of my red building supplies to fill in this little gap. And as well as that, I'll come one block down as well. Then I'm going to come forward with my logs and connect up here. And I'll go in with some spruce fences underneath just to finish off these details. Then we need to add a floor up here. So I'm going to be using some spruce planks and I'm placing these over the top. So they are sitting one block above all of the beams we just put in. And I'm just going to the center point here. I'll then extend one block out with some spruce stairs upside down. And I'm going to add some stairs in here. And I'm also going to choose where I'm going to put my ladder. I think I'll have my ladder coming up here. That's entirely up to you and how you plan on using your barn. And of course you can add some railing along this edge if you'd like. There we go. Now I'm going to be using gravel for my floor. But you can use whatever you'd like. A mixture of hay works really well if this is going to be an animal barn. Or you could mix in some other materials with your gravel, like some coral. I'm going to be placing my gravel in, in kind of randomized sections. And then I might go in with some dirt later to add some extra texture. There we go. Now I've come to the exterior of the barn to start adding in some more details out here. I'm going to use some smooth quartz stairs and slabs to create a little platform and placing the stairs one block apart with slabs in between. Then I'm going to have three coming across here using some diorite walls to prop them up. So it should look like that. I'm going to add some diorite walls underneath these stairs at the front and back. And I'm also going to be using these direct walls in between the windows. So let's start in some windows on this side here. I'm going to put my direct walls going up to the top. For my window decorations, I'm just using some spruce trapdoors, some white stained glass panes, and some iron trapdoors going across the top. And I'm going to hang a lantern. And I'll create the same design on the other side windows. While I'm working on the side, I'm going to grab some smooth quartz slabs and I'm running them underneath the edge of the roof. Just like that. And I'm going to come to this side as well and make sure I fill in these two slabs on that side. For the windows at the back, I'm going to create a similar design to what we have on the sides of the build. And I'm going to start by going in with my glass, then my trapdoor window shutters. And then I'm going to place my diorite walls in between like this. And I'm going to put these on the edges as well. So that's what the back should look like. Oh, and don't forget to go in with your iron trapdoors and your lanterns. These will add some lovely illumination to all of your windows. The windows on this side section that comes out towards the left are going to be a similar sort of design with the window shutters. And I'll add slabs above here. 
This one I'll hang a lantern above here. But still going in with my trapdoors. And I'm going to have some diorite walls on either side. I'll create the same design as on the opposite wall for here. And our windows are really starting to come together now. We can work on the ones up here on the gable next. Now for these smaller gables in the dormers, we want to create a similar design to what we have down on the base of the build. So I'm going in with some stone brick stairs first. Then I'm going to add a little more um, edging with some diorite stairs underneath. That just cleans up the look. Then for the actual windows themselves, I'm going in with some more white stained glass, some spruce trapdoors, and some iron trapdoors. And I can create the same design on the other two dormers. We also need to add some window decoration to the large window here at the back. So for this I'm going to build up one high in the two center points like this with my diorite walls. Then I'll switch to some smooth quartz stairs and build five across. Then I'm going to build up four high with some more walls, so that's the height of the window. And frame it off with some iron trap doors at the top. I'll add in some window shutters. glass in behind. So it should look like this. Now I need to add the all important barn doors and decorations to the front of the build. Starting with the barn doors we'll be using spruce trap doors and I'm going to build up the height of the doorway and I'm going along the edge here and I'm going to do that one more in to the doorway and then I'm going to switch around so I'm placing them from the inside on the inside frame block here and you should see it should be a half or a trapdoor width back and I'll do this on both sides. By doing this it gives the appearances of the door opening and then we can add in some levers for the handles. You'll have to hold shift here but I'll place four levers and then flip the top two like that. Now for some framing, I'm going to add diorite walls up either side of the doorway. And then iron trap doors along the top. I also want to add some window decorations down here. I'm going with some stone brick stairs at the top and bottom. And then white stained glass. Like this. Coming up to this window here, I'm going to add some large window shutter doors. So these are two blocks and then the height of the window. And I'll run across the top with some iron trap doors. So five across the top like that. Next, we're going to create a pulley system to load hay into the barn. I'm going to start by placing three fences coming out from here. Then I'm going to hang a grindstone one block in from the end and then hang some chains down from this. I'm going to hang three chains. Then I'll use some hay just as a placeholder block for now, although I'm going to add quite a chunk in. And then I can add some more texture and change it the direction later. And I'm going to create a 3x3 three three platform out of trapdoors underneath this. Now you can have your trapdoors all going in the same direction or changing direction, whatever you like the look of. But it should look something like this. I'm also going to hang some lanterns from here. I'm going to hang one one block down like that. I'm going to hang one underneath this trapdoor. As well as underneath the doorway. I'm going to hang some more lanterns around the build. I'm going to hang one from each of these small dormer windows as well as down the back where I'm going to hang it a few blocks down, I think probably three. I 
and you can see these details really do make the build pop. Now this big red barn needs to be put into a farm landscape. There we go, I've put my barn in a beautiful farmyard setting, so let's have a look at how I've decorated the exterior of this build. I really wanted to showcase the barn, so I framed it with a luscious field filled of wheat. I've kept the colour palette around the build in a full scheme with lots of reds, natural colours, oranges and yellows. You can see I've built these full coloured trees with fallen leaves all around the build and I've put these in groups of one and three as these are nice numbers to distribute trees in. Following along the fall theme I've dotted some pumpkins around the path and I've added some ambient lighting. I've got a scarecrow guarding all of my crops and you can see a tutorial for how to create these as well as some other decorations in the description down below. And what big red barn would be complete without a tractor? I've created a red tractor here which works really well with my colour scheme and is a classic colour. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how to create this tractor, leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed creating this red barn. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you consider giving the video a like and subscribing for more. And check out my Patreon if you'd like to support me further. See you in another video!